What's up YouTube, Sean the Gamer here, and today, I don't know how long I'm going to talk for, but I just want to give, like, my all my thoughts that I've had so far up until this episode of Dragon Ball Super, because there's only two episodes left. Uh, I think they're going on another hiatus next week, and then they're going to get the last two episodes back-to-back, -back, episode 130 and episodes 131, and then no more Dragon Ball Super until we get the movie in December. Well, that's just going to be a Dragon Ball movie, but Dragon Ball Super as a series is going to be done by the end of March. And I think there's a couple of things they could have done differently, but as a... And I was thinking about this last night. We as Americans watch Dragon Ball Super. I live in Atlanta, so I'll watch Dragon Ball Super if I can catch it live at 7 o'clock in the afternoon. And at that time of the day, you're kind of tired, you know, you just want to unwind and all that stuff. You've already had stuff on your mind. You've probably already been watching TV all day, depending on uh, your situation or something. You've been out all day with friends on a Saturday. So you get home, you want to watch some Dragon Ball Super, and you're excited for it because you've had, you know, not only all week, and then you've had all day leading up to that moment so sometimes you can get a really good episode like i felt like we got for 129 goku going mastered ultra instinct and then it's like cool but it's like that's all we're getting that's that's it it's like i've waited all day seven o'clock at night you know for me to watch this and that's all we get overlooking that it was you know not not bad animation really good animation uh, if, if you're like me, I want to assume most people who watch Dragon Ball Super live in Japan time, in Japan time, on Japan time, um, you don't really need to like look at Herms or look at a translator or anything like that. You kind of just can get the feel and vibe of the flow because it's all pretty much the same every week. Goku's getting beat up. People on the sideline are cheering him on. Whis is going to say something that makes you think. Beerus is going to respond to it. And then the opposing rival is going to get their little dialogue in. And, you know, you can just kind of get a feel and sense, especially with, with the action that's going on in this episode. It's like, um, and especially if you're kind of paying attention to the way things are animated, too, before they actually say it or you can see a translation, you just kind of, you can kind of tell what's going on. Like in this episode, uh, I watched it for the second time this morning because the first time I watched it last night, um, I tried to watch it live and it was kind of like choppy and pausing and freezing from the, uh, from the person trying to broadcast it. So I watched it again this morning and you start noticing little things throughout the episode, like around the end, uh, of course, there's going to be spoilers. I'm having it in the title of the video. Um, Goku, when Jiren is running down all these, I guess, air punches or blasts or whatever, once Goku starts to really transform and go into the uh, perfected or 100% form of Ultra Instincts, I start noticing, like, his hands are, like, shaking like is he shaking because of the pressure of jerry and trying to hold it back and then you start noticing that um you once they do the like the little surrounding shot of goku like under the massive attack of uh jerry and under his little barrier you start noticing little things like which look like him throwing punches like the little punch animations will show up on top of the barrier so like but He's still standing there. So it's like, I start asking myself and my girlfriend, like, is he punching? <laughs> like, am I tripping? Like, he's vibrating. He's not showing that he's punching, but we all know Ultra Instinct is the mastery of movement, the uh, selflessness of self, whatever. It's just like being able to let your body move without thinking about it. Like how 
you can just get up and walk. You don't have to like, it's not like uh, Alexa or Siri or something. You don't have to say, hey, legs, I need you to walk. And they start walking. You just do it. So it's like, I saw that. And then, like I was saying, if you notice little things like that, you don't really need a translator. So that's how, you know, I watch Dragon Ball Super. Like, I watch it live watch it again and then you know before I go to bed probably Sunday night or before I go to work Monday morning or Monday night as well um I might watch it for a third time just to make sure I caught everything and then you know give you guys a late update or upload or something like that but anyways uh quick side note I think I like silver eyed black haired ultra instinct more than I like the all whiter silver ultra instinct i don't know maybe it's just me but anyways up until this point this whole tournament we are wondering not if but how universe 7 is going to live and outlast this unbeatable person of course we all knew it was going to be goku some people thought it was going to be fusion yada 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 but something that they've been trying to like hide in the background, but most people know this already, is Frieza has not been eliminated. So you have Frieza looming in the background. Like my my real question is, are they gonna explain it? Are they gonna explain the Frieza thing? Like, is he gonna say, like, I've been watching the fight this whole time? I watched 17 explode. I watched Vegeta get his ass whooped uh, and knocked off the stage. And I watched you go through uh, another, you know, monkey transformation or something like that. It's Frieza. Who knows what racist thing he gonna say? So, um, and are they gonna like just explain it? Like, oh, I was unconscious. I woke up in the last couple of seconds, and you two rung, rung each other out. And then, you know, I get my Dragon Ball, well, Dragon Ball Super, Super Dragon Ball wish, and, you know, probably be the emperor of everything, you know, it takes in those spot or something. So, are they, because Dragon Ball Super has a, a fond track record of just throwing stuff at us and not explaining it. Like, we still don't know how, <clears throat> how and exactly when uh, Goku and Vegeta got Super Saiyan Blue. We still don't know if Goku is even near Beerus level. Um, we don't know how strong the Dashinkan is. We don't know how everybody, except for plot purposes, got so damn strong. Oh, like, 17, he said he kept training. 18, uh, Android, so she probably had that same like built in progression as 17 does. Um, that's just me giving off uh, head cannon. Uh, they don't explain TN. Krillin, you know, Krillin's just there for the most part. He didn't last that long. Wasn't he the first person eliminated riding the bench? So that, that's still one of the best moments. Just Frost coming out of nowhere and smacking Krillin off the stage. Yeah. That was funny going. Um, how, like, they tried to explain it. Toriyama tried to write a whole article about S cells and things like how the Universe 6 Saiyans are so damn powerful, just like, oh, they mutated and evolved differently, whatever. Um, I still want to know how they can still, even if they are genetically better, how can they still keep up with people who've been doing this? when I say doing this, this whole saving the world, fighting off like uh, Planet Buster, Universe Buster level villains, and they can all of a sudden start to get these powers. So, a little bit more explaining on that would be nice. Um, we still don't really know about Hit that much. Uh, there's just a lot of things that need to be explained throughout this series. Uh, what what really is Super Saiyan Rage Trunks? Like, what is that? Is that like the half virgin or half Saiyan, half human version of Super Saiyan Blue, or is that just some type of of mutation? Like the false Super Saiyan from one of those movies was the Laura Slug movie, I believe. 
is it one of those? That still hasn't been explained. Uh, Piccolo and Gohan. Gohan, I feel sorry for Gohan. If you're a Gohan fan, you just got shafted this whole way through. Like, you got teased with the whole training thing and him fighting Piccolo and, you know, uh, remastering uh, Mystic or Ultimate Gohan form. Then you had the fight between him and Goku, where he kind of showed off a little bit. It was a decent fight. And then you get to the actual, como se dice, preliminary fights where he just gets, um, who did he fight? The poison one. I think that's Lazar, Lavender, Bergamo, and the other one, <laughs> Basil. I can't remember which one is which, but he fought the poison one. And after all that, he gets his butt whooped and it goes to a draw. He did good. He was poisoned. He was blind. He couldn't see and all that. So still good. But the fact that with all this hype around Gohan and you make him the team leader and he still doesn't do anything. I don't care what nobody says. People have tried to explain it to me like on Twitter and things like that, that um, Gohan was at his max level. And then in this episode, they had the nerve to say, um... Vegeta said to Belmont, all the Saiyans have gone through some type of incredible transformation and, and went beyond their limits. That is true for most of them. Uh, Kaba went Super Saiyan 2. Khalifa, she went Super Saiyan 2. Kale learned how to master her rage. Vegeta got pure blue. Goku got Ultra Instinct. But what about that last one? Who? Gohan. Gohan ain't getting nothing. <laughs> Gohan got... Gohan had the opportunity to do something. Like, either go Super Saiyan God. Go Blue. Do something. Even get Rage. But he didn't. And shafted. Like I said, I'm, I haven't been a Gohan fan since... I wasn't really a Gohan fan since the Cell art, but I liked it. I still think we need, like in Dokkan, we need, when he was going Super Saiyan for the first time, he had the long hair. We need that Super Saiyan Gohan. Like, I don't care how we get it, I want that card. But I haven't been a fan of Gohan since around that time period. We said a Cell Saga. So I don't really care, but it's just the fact that if they knew this might be the last arc for Dragon Ball Super and they wanted to make all their characters shine, just think about it. Most of them shine in this arc. You had 17 who had a spectacular performance in this tournament. Uh, he had a whole bunch of eliminations. He had that moment with Ani Raza. He stood toe to toe against Topo and Jiren. And was able to fight off, well, you know, use, gave his own life, is what I'm trying to say, to protect your two quote-unquote main characters so they can get a little rest. You had 18 who eliminated everybody's most hated character in this whole tournament, Rebrianne. So that's uh, saying enough in itself. And she had some other moments. All doing this all while she had a twisted ankle, remind you. You had old ass Roshi, who was putting people in Mafuba jars and th tossing them off the stage. TN, you know, he was the first person to self sacrifice himself, you know, uh, fighting that one dude, and he had to like do the multiple form technique and grab them and knock them off the stage. Uh, who am I missing? Piccolo went out kind of. I don't even remember how Piccolo was eliminated. So we're going to say Piccolo went out like a little punk. Gohan went out like a punk. Vegeta went out. Vegeta tried. Vegeta tried. So we are going to say that. And that just leaves Goku and Frieza. So Frieza just been a dick this whole time. And that's just been funny. So he had his moments.
But Gohan didn't really have a moment, except like early in the tournament when he eliminated that one guy and his, their universe got eliminated. Then he cried for a second. That was about it. That was all for Gohan. But then you had 17, who's a character who we have not seen, if you don't want to count GT, since he got absorbed by 17, no, not by 17 absorbed, 17, 17 absorbed by Cell, then he made, I think he made a brief cameo in the Boo Saga to donate energy. Other than that, we haven't seen 17, and he gets way more spotlight than Gohan. That's, I, I don't know why I'm trying to get make this whole defense for Gohan, but I just think he got shafted. I'm just going to put it like that. Gohan got really shafted. He should be upset. Fish, a fictional character should be upset. I need to stop doing videos. So, um, but now we're at the climax. They need to, if Frieza does win this, they need to explain it. I, there's two episodes left. We all know next week, not next week, in two weeks from now, that's going to be the big final battle between Goku and Jiren. And then episode 131 is going to be the big explainer. Or well, wrapping everything up. So they got time. They got 60 minutes <laughs> of anime time to feel. So I just want, I watched everything that happened and I just wanted you two to get rid of each other. I can't be, I knew I couldn't be Jiren. And if it's the last two of us standing, I don't know how that's going to work. I just wanted my wish. So I watched y'all eliminate each other or I was knocked out and I'm just waking up now. So what happened? <laughs> so I think those are the only two options you got. Unless, oh, how funny would it be if Goku actually does eliminate Jiren and then Frieza just says, hey, good job, and just knocks him out with his tail. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, but I don't see that happening, but it'd be great. That'd be a funny moment. Um... Anything else I want to talk about? Talk about all the main characters a little bit and just what they did. Um, the movie's coming out. That's supposed to be History of the Saiyans. Uh, will we see Yamoshi? We don't really know. I think that's about it. I think that's about everything I wanted to cover because like, right before I started doing this video, I was just thinking to myself, I got a lot of stuff I want to get off my chest about WWE because they're really starting to piss me off. <laughs> they really are. So I might save the little editing to this and get it started to render and do that. Or I might just keep thinking about my thoughts and see if I have enough thoughts for at least a decent video. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Or I might. Because I already have a video I recorded that's rendering now as I'm recording this one. And I think that one covered most of my thoughts. But it's in a more lackadaisical way. And I just want to go a little bit more in depth on it. I don't know. What we'll thing about it? Um, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. I don't know, might do some videos on that. Uh, uh, on my JP version, I actually pulled Super Saiyan Blue Physical Vegito and Super Saiyan Vegito Physical. So those are two good cards. I got a Dokkan Nose. I just don't feel like doing it. And we'll, 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 we'll cross these bridges when we come to them. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. So if you've enjoyed this video, any thoughts on Dragon Ball Super? What do you... What do you want to see from the last couple of episodes? Like, more explanation on stuff. Uh, if Frieza does somehow win this, are they going to explain it? Uh, what do you guys think about that whole Gohan thing I went on? Like, how Vegeta, like, literally just said that, like... Well, I don't think Vegeta ever really liked Gohan. He's At one point, he was like, Gohan has the most potential out of all of us. And then, earlier in Super, he was like, yeah... Nah, <laughs> we can't rely on Gohan like that. <laughs> that was funny. Um, 
what other plot holes or non-explained things did I miss? I know I tried to talk about uh, some of that Goku Black stuff wasn't really like explained. Like if you had somebody like Goku Black in the arc, like I know like Jiren probably wasn't even thought of or things like that, but that's kind of a plot hole they should have thought about beforehand. Because if you had Go Goku Black and Zamasu going universe to universe to universe, killing all the guys and stuff, and the Pride Troopers work closely with Belmont, why didn't the, the Pride Troopers just kill Goku Black when they got there? <laughs> why didn't Jiren just, if Jiren is supposed to be this almighty powerful thing, why didn't he just kill him when he got there? I know he probably couldn't have killed uh, Zamasu because he's immortal, but they would have came up with something like, Jiren probably just beat him to death for the rest of his life. <laughs> just like chain him up and just punch him in the stomach or I don't know. Just beat him up for the rest of his life. That horrible torture. Like just thinking about that. Like getting beat to death. That doesn't sound fun at all. I think I need to move that on my ways I don't want to die list. It used to be drowning. But just think about somebody punching you in the face until you... You know what? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch all linked in the description down below. Um, Comment, like I said, all the stuff I just talked about down below. If you have any other thoughts or video suggestions, leave them down there as well. Um, like this video, subscribe if you're new here, share it out with your friends, and hit the notification to be notified, of course when all of the new videos hit the channel. Um, we got some snack crate unboxings on the channel. Still don't know where they're coming from. And we actually got a duplicate sweetened one. So the Swedish one is on the channel now. That's the last video. So go watch that if you want to pick one of those up. Just in case we're sponsored. Let's go help out the people who sponsor in the channel with free snacks every, what is it, week and a half? It's like, it's like every week and a half we get a new box and you know I'm not complaining I thank you very much so everybody snack crate will be linked down below I guess with all that being said I am Sean the Gamer and I am out of here